What's up everybody? It's your boy Adrian and today we are going to have our AutoCAD tutorial. So in this video, I will going to show you a simple exercise in AutoCAD. So we have here our example na makikita niyo sa ating screen. So for this one, we have this um, shape, no? So we have its dimensions, the angles, and also the radius. So paano ba ito gawain? So papakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya gawain, okay? So first is we're going to have our guidelines. So for the guidelines, as you can see, meron tayo dito sa ilalim na nakalagay is 173. So as you can see, na pahiga siya or horizontal. So gagawa tayo ng horizontal na line. So by that, we're going to type L for line and enter. So specify first point. So for example, dito ako magsa-start. And hindi tayo naka-orta mode. So for this one, uh, ang gagawin natin is i-hold natin yung shift para mag -orta mode and I'm going to type the measurement na nasa iba ilalim. So for this one, meron tayong 173. So I'm going to type 173, okay? 173 and enter. So ang next naman natin gagawin is yung upper right. So nakalagay dito na sa taas is 60 degrees. So, we know the kapag ang uh, 60 degrees sa triangle, diba? Uh, it will be equilater equilateria uh, equilateral triangle, diba? Like, same yung size ng ating sides, diba? So, by that, itatype natin is 173, but in this case, maglalagay tayo ng angle. So, kung itong nasa loob ay 60, and dito sa loob na dapat sa side na to is 160, or 60 rather, so yung magiging nasa labas niya is 1, uh, 120. So by that, itatype natin is yung una, 173. And then, shift comma. So dito tayo mapupunta sa ating angle. Dito na natin itatype yung ating angle. So it will be 120. And enter. So, after that, after this, you can click naman yung ating uh, dito. No? Kasi, as you can see, nakalagay is 173. So, nag-fit siya dito sa ating uh, side, no? So, we can click and enter. After that, we are going to have our, uh, this one, yung parang naka 45 degree mula dito, no? So, by that, I'm going to type, I'm going to select muna, and I'm going to type RO for rotate. Enter. Ang specify natin na base point is dito. Okay? So, dito, and then, sa ilalim, meron nakalagay dito na copy. So, ikokopya natin yung line na nakarotate. So, we can type C. Okay, C and enter. And, itatype natin kung ano yung angle niya. In this case, we have 45 degree. Pero, pababa, pababa yung ating 45 degree. So, alam naman natin na kapag mag-rotate tayo ng clockwise is will be negative. So, negative 45 yung ating itatype. Dito. So, we're going to type negative 4, 5 and enter. So, ito na yung line dito. After that, we are going to mirror this one para hindi na tayo mag-rotate. Para naka um, symmetrical siya. So, I'm going to type MI for mirror. So, ang base point natin is this one. Itong gitna. And click. I-hold na natin yung ating shift. So, click and no. And after that, we are going to have our circle. So, for the circle, nakalagay dito is R24. It means our circle will be 24 unit na radius. Okay? So, we're going to have C for circle and enter. Specify the point for circle. So, we, nakikita natin dito sa side is 86.5. But in this case, dito siya sa midpoint. So, Kung ang kalahati na 173 is 86.5, so dito na tayo sa midpoint gagawa. And itatype na natin yung ating radius, which is 24. So we can type 2, 4, and enter. So ito na yung ating circle. And after that, pwede na lang natin siya i-copy kaysa gumawa ng another circle by typing CO. Specify natin yung uh, middle part or yung center. And then, i-click natin siya sa midpoint. Kasi ito yung midpoint niya, di ba? Ayan yung midpoint. And dito sa gitna, 
or intersection ng dalawang line. So, kung ano yung intersection? So, eto siya. Okay? Ayan yung ating intersection. And, enter. After that, tatanggalin natin itong nasa ilalim by typing E for erase and enter. The next one is to trim kasi tatanggalin natin yung mga sobra. So, by typing TR or trim and double enter, dalawang enter ha, and then pwede na tayong mag-trim ng mga sobrang lines. So, ito, 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 this, oops, itong dalawa, dalawa, and ito. And it is uh, recommended na mag-J for join para mapagdugtong natin yung ating close object. And after that, nagawa na natin itong ating object. So, I hope that you enjoyed this one and I hope that you that I will see you in the next video. Peace!